Hi, I'm Brad with Double D Trailers. We are at the factory on the coldest day of the year. It's a balmy 22 degrees today. I want to take a few moments to share with you some features on this uh, bumper sport. This is a 2014 model. I think you'll really like the features. It's a custom color. The owner of this trailer, uh, she elected to go with the weight distribution system. You can go ahead and get a shot of that. And for those of you who are not familiar with a weight distribution, those are simply the brackets. But what it does is it will help get some of the tongue weight off of your tow vehicle once you purchase the hitch that goes along with your uh, your truck or SUV and to keep your front tires planted firmly on the ground, get some of the weight off of the back and uh, just really helps with stability while you're driving. So we certainly recommend a weight distribution hitch depending on the type of tow vehicle that you have. I really like these couplers. They're one of the strongest that we could find. A standard seven-way RV pin hookup that's going to be on all the trailers now and compatible with most any tow vehicle that you purchase. An emergency breakaway system, most of you are familiar with that, but just in case your trailer were to become uh, disconnected from your tow vehicle, this cable would just pull out and it'll actually actuate the brakes. I apologize for the noise in the background. It's very busy here at the plant. I love the cables versus the chain. Uh, years ago, we used to use a safety chain and they would always drag and uh, just really make a mess. But the cable you can attach to your tow vehicle hitch and you can see with this pigtail material, you don't have to worry about it dragging. So it always sort of coils itself back up. Aerodynamic V-front. Um, this does have the 3M chemical bonding system and uh, in simple terms it's a 3M tape. You can Google that and learn more about it but it's not really tape in the sense that it's sticky when we pull it off the row. It it's actually has very little tack to it but the advantage is we don't have metal on top of metal. Uh, there's actually a foam barrier of tape behind this and it really provides for a quiet ride for your horses and it allows on days like today when it's freezing cold and metals actually expand and contract with temperature change, it can contract and move freely or independent of the structure that it's attached to, which is a really neat technology. Whereas if we had rivets, which a lot of manufacturers use, you really run the risk of water getting in your rivets. Uh, plus you have metal on top of uh, metal, so it creates a lot of noise and vibration while you're traveling. And, uh, and the sheets will actually buckle because as the material expands and contracts, which we can't prevent from temperature, uh, it would actually warp. We call that sheep warp. No, no caulking or, uh, or anything like that. It's certainly not necessary. The, uh, the chemical bonding system acts as a water barrier, so no caulking is required, which I really like because caulking is just a dirt magnet. Makes something that else that you have to clean. Okay, as we move on, I really like this trailer. We've got a nice running board step. This is an aluminum step. One is on either side of this particular model. The customer elected to add these drop-down windows. This is a, a straight load. And normally, uh, this window, I believe, is optional on this model. So uh, this was a, an extra feature. I apologize for the wind noise. This was an extra feature that was added, but we work with our, our window manufacturer the latches used to be up high so us height challenged or short people couldn't reach those and we work with the manufacturer to lower that latch to a mid latch and so now you can easily just take one hand open and close the window if you'd like to travel with it in the in the down position you're certainly welcome to do that the window will slide and the bar and the window fold independent of each other as you can see. You can just lay that window down, fold the bar uh, back up, or you could travel with just the window down itself or the glass portion. Lots of light, lots of space. We went ahead and did a tie loop on either side, one here and one here, and I think we may have a couple on the other side. A convenient grab handle, so if you want to step up inside and, and feed or groom your horse, you can certainly do that. Aluminum fenders, which I really like. Uh, unfortunately, over the years, as uh, the rubber fatigues and the elements wear down on the rubber itself and it begins to just break down from uh, sunlight, from uh, temperature, uh, 
we do see some uh, some tires that will blow out or if you run over something with a piece of uh, road debris or road hazard and if that tire were to happen to blow out and the fender gets damaged since it's aluminum it's a fairly common fender not too difficult to find easy to source that part and relatively inexpensive okay if we move on around to the back of this trailer this trailer normally comes uh, with a full height rear door that means two doors full height this particular customer <coughs> elected to add a ramp with a Dutch top door and what that means is uh, we just got the ramp at the bottom with the with the Dutch style door at the top which will fold around again I apologize for the uh, for the noise here so if we open these doors up we've got a convenient latch on one side try not to get tangled up in our cord here convenient latch on the opposite side and I love these safety latches very easy very neat to use uh, the ramp itself is lightweight no problems whatsoever I love the way that the ramp goes all the way down to the ground and you can easily lift it with one hand or lower it back down I always like to do what I call the foot test on a ramp and the foot test is simply if I can take my foot and just lift it the last thing that we want my photographer today is my 17 year old daughter so if the camera is really moving all around and shaking everywhere uh, I would just blame Brooke for it but what I really like is for my daughter to be able to just easily pick this ramp up and down without any difficulty I just love this trailer I can't tell you enough we have dual lights so that when the Yahoo behind you is texting and not paying attention to cars back they can easily see that LED light hopefully it'll get their attention and prevent someone from rear ending you and having that rear end collision uh, the switch on the back will operate your interior lights uh, this one has optional fans can you get a close-up of the fan up there yeah how about that you see that fan is swiveling and of course I can turn the other switch and the one on the left begins to operate and then we also have two more switches here which will control the outside floodlight and then your uh, oh, your interior horse lights one here and one there so the last thing that we ever want anyone to have to do is step up inside the trailer and begin fooling with light so we always do separate switches for the interior lights now we did elect to add or this customer did a, a rumber flooring that's r-u-m-b-e-r -E like lumber with an r i really like rumber the advantages are uh, it's very quiet it transfers uh, probably the least amount of heat noise and vibration in comparison to a wood floor and certainly much less heat noise and vibration uh, when we are looking at an aluminum floor we never recommend an aluminum floor just because that urine um, is very acidic it can react negatively with aluminum certainly if you keep it cleaned that's not going to be an issue but you have to pull the heavy stall mats out and it does transfer a lot of heat and vibration uh, regardless of how well you maintain it so we don't have that problem with rumber it will easily uh, be a floor that will last a lifetime as a matter of fact it has a lifetime warranty on the rumber flooring we do uh, put the cross members approximately every 16 inches and what that does is it really just gives the 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 right amount of flex that we're looking for so that when it will absorb the vibration um, that uh, and the shock rather than transferring it to your horse's feet and legs I like the way there's no lip back here it's almost smooth there's just a, a, a little rounded edge there and what that does is it just allows you to easily hose out your trailer 
you don't have to worry about pulling out a heavy stall mat or anything like that so the rumber floor you'll certainly like that if we were to look on the bottom side of this and I'll show you some rumber in a little bit uh, it's just smooth so it's approximately two inches thick and around eight inches wide so it's a two by eight roughly and it's tongue and groove which means that one board snaps into the board beside it tongue and groove means that tongue and groove okay so it's a it's a very nice floor this trailer does have the safe kick wall lining uh, which is proprietary to our trailers and what safe kick is it's 95 percent plastic and it's actually five percent rubber so it has some give to it and and what i like about it is if you get a guy that that just really likes to paw or kick or uh sometimes uh horses like to have a good time in here and unfortunately i've seen a rubber material it's like a uh, three sixteenths which is less than a quarter of an inch thick I've seen horses actually paw that rubber off the side you probably have too and unfortunately when that happens we end up with a mechanical fastener a bolt or a screw or a rivet and we've seen some injuries from that so what the safe kick does is it will just allow your guy to safely kick It'll absorb that impact. It has a block of high-density styrofoam insulation uh, behind this. And because it's 95% uh, plastic, you don't have to worry about uh, your horse pawing it off the wall or anything like that. Yeah, so if we'll just move on, I really like the padding in here. This is custom handmade padding. Uh, we use black padding. It just stays, it's easier to, to maintain and clean. We've used other colors over time, and they seem to really get soiled, and the black is just uh, easy to maintain on your guys. This is the Galvalite product. It's actually a 16-gauge material, and Galvalite is basically galvanized metal that's made for painting, but it doesn't rust. And, of course, the advantage is if you get a guy in here that spooks and he goes crazy and he tries to jump out of your trailer for whatever reason and a horse paw comes up here. Unfortunately, uh, we've used aluminum in the past. We do use aluminum on the outside, but for the interior wall lining, which, by the way, is 100% insulated, all the walls in this trailer, even including the dress, but the interior wall lining is this galvalite material. And, and the problem that we had with aluminum, because it's very malleable, it's very thin, We've actually seen horse hoofs or a leg that could go through that. You won't have this problem with the Galvalite, so you'll, you'll really like that. Now, because this is a straight load trailer, uh, we have a butt bar and a chest bar. You can see it's well padded, uh, easy design. The latches work very well. It's no problem at all to, to get these in and out. We did add a feed bag to this trailer. And of course, you can step up from the side and easily feed. These will lay down if you needed to do that three tie loops and these are a lay flat loop so we never have to worry about an injury to an eye one here one on the front and then of course one up here as well your divider or swinging head partition it'll actually pivot from side to side I like that we do a, a small rubber piece up here just eliminates the rattle which is very important. So this would be nice and quiet while you're traveling. I know a lot of headpieces don't have that. The dividers are very sloppy and loose and you just get a lot of noise, which can really raise that stress and those cortisol levels while you're traveling. A pop-up vent per stall, that's a bi-directional vent. Of course, we've already discussed uh, the vents up at the top. Now, this divider is 100% removable. If you can get a close up on that, Brooke. You just pull that pin out and uh, and pop this pin that away the divider will lift up off of the hinge and i'm not going to try this you really need two people to do it one on on the back and then one on the front here but you could lift out these pins remove uh your center partition and then if you wanted to you could also remove the center post so this entire area could be open and available for hauling a four-wheeler or uh i don't know a lawnmower or bales of hay or furniture whatever that you may want to do okay so this is uh 
the bumper sport straight load. You can see this will easily pivot from one side to the other. Lots of space. Uh, the standard width on the trailer is 72 inches. This particular trailer is an 80 inch wide. So it's the maximum width that we can build legally and still keep the fenders and the tires on the outside of the trailer. And it's also 7.6 interior clearance height in here. We've got a nice rear header pad, so if you get a guy that while he's backing out and he happens to throw his head up, uh, we just uh, make it a little bit more friendly to your horse and hopefully avoid a bad experience there. All of your windows are covered with bars. Everything will slide, so we never have to. Uh, you can get plenty of light, plenty of airflow screens to prevent any rocks or bugs or uh, cigarettes from coming in while you're traveling. This is the new style safe bump roof, which I absolutely love. The older style that we manufactured had a lot of great features, but where it really failed us is we didn't have enough supports here in case of a rollover situation, uh, which is very unfortunate. And then also, um, it had a lot of seams in it. And of course, anytime we have a, a roof seam, that's just a spot that has to be sealed. It has to be caulked. And unfortunately, the sunlight and the elements just break down petroleum products rubber, caulking, sealants, things of that nature. So three, five, seven year time period, it has to be resealed. We won't have that problem with this style of safe bump uh, roof. It is a one piece fiber composite. Uh, it's self insulating. It does have some flex to it. So if you get a guy that rears up and you can see that roof, it'll actually move and absorb that impact. And you don't have to worry about this roof uh, leaking because it is built in a mold and we have a nice z-frame roof bow constructed every 16 inches approximately from the front to the rear so in a rollover situation if that were to occur your horses would certainly be protected inside of that roll cage almost like your automobile by the way this trailer is constructed of z-frame z simply stands for zinc it's a very lightweight material uh, extremely strong, much stronger than aluminum, actually has a tensile strength rating greater than steel when comparison or comparing to uh, the same thickness. In other words, 14 gauge Z-frame compared to 14 gauge steel, the Z-frame will actually have a stronger rating. So that allows us to use really lightweight materials uh, and it doesn't rust, very nice. Okay, if we just walk around to this side, by the way, before I, before I forget, you can choose the exterior color of your trailer. You can also choose the style and the color of your graphic. We have many to choose from. There's no extra charge for the graphic. That's included. No extra cost for the color, uh, reds, grays, purples. We did a pink one not long ago. It was a very nice trailer. And what I really like is we can match the, uh, the roof rail which is this portion up here, as well as the chassis. You probably noticed around the back that the entire frame was, uh, was red or uh, painted to match this graphic. So you have three choices, the skin being one color, your graphic being another color, and then your third choice, the roof rail and the frame and the chassis color. Some folks will elect to match that to the graphic. Some folks will actually uh, want to match it to possibly even your tow vehicle. So if you would provide us your color code, we could certainly do that. And again, there's no extra cost. Now, one thing that you may be thinking is, oh my goodness, I don't want my, the top of my roof to be red uh, because of the heat. I agree. So the, the top is actually white. The only portion that's red or colored would be just the curved portion on the side. It's only about six inches uh, would be what that radius is. And you may want to leave it white. That's no problem. We have a nice door hold back. So it'll easily hold your door on a windy day like today. Again, a convenient grab handle to step up uh, to feed that guy if you need to. This was an option I believe that we added to this trailer, just something to help to get in and out. Carpet is normally standard in the floor of your dress and this particular customer elected to add uh, a rubber stall mat. I, I personally like having the rubber mat. I think it's just a little easier to clean, doesn't soil um, nearly as bad as what carpet does. We, we did elect to add on this trailer 
uh, an insulated bulkhead wall and carpeted. And what I like about that is you can add some bridle hangers in here and it, and it just keeps those hangers from clanking and of course scratching the paint while you're driving. So uh, it helps reduce the noise level to your horses and also just helps protect your trailer long term. Now this customer did add the optional water tank which I really like. I think this is a 30 gallon, used to be 25 but now a 30 gallon tank. It's just gravity feed which means you would screw on any uh, conventional garden hose fitting here and you would buy your own hose. You could probably roll it up underneath here or perhaps add a, a hose holder right to the side and you just turn this on to get the water out and perhaps water the horses. Now again, this dressing room is insulated just like your horse area as I mentioned earlier. The saddle racks, uh, I don't actually build these. They're, they're manufactured by a company called Saddle Boss, which I really like. Uh, you may have seen these in other brands of trailers before. But what I like about the Saddle Boss is it's very lightweight. It's easy to handle. It's almost perfectly designed to fit the saddle. We never have to really worry about one sliding off or falling in the floor. And you can see with the way that we construct uh, this adjustable height portion, I just lifted that right off without any problem at all. And so I can move it up here oh, just as easily. And there's also a slot here. And uh, what you may elect to do, and some folks will, is, they, is you may want to add a blanket bar, which uh, just comes out like so. Now, years ago, we used to use a sliding window in the front. And the only problem with the sliding window is any time that you're driving down the road, it's pouring down rain, so you're running, it's like a 55 mile an hour wind or driving rain, and it could actually uh, depress or push in on the sliding portion and allow water to come in. This is a, uh, this window doesn't actually slide, but it rolls in and out. As you can see, it still has the screen over it, and so you'll have a lot greater success with this window not leaking than we do that sliding window across the front. So that's been a really good change for us. This customer did add the auxiliary battery. Now this has a charge line that runs from the tow vehicle back to the trailer. So that means as long as your tow vehicle is wired properly with the auxiliary circuit it will actually recharge the battery while you're driving. And once you walk inside of your trailer we have this nice switch if you'll just get a good shot of that. It's very convenient so you can stand outside, just flip on the switch, and there's your overhead light. So you don't have to, while you're standing on the ground, try to reach up and grab this light. It's easy to reach inside, but standing outside from the ground, it's very difficult. So I like having that, that switch in there. Of course, this is the walkthrough door from the front to the rear. One thing that I, I did fail to mention earlier is you'll notice the height of the floor, there's no lip here. And so when you're trying to keep this dressing area clean, it's very easy to do. You could just sweep it right out. I love that. And you'll notice the floor is actually at a higher elevation than what your trailer floor is. There's approximately five or six inches difference here. And the reason for that is just a, it's something that we do benefit for our customers, for you guys, is to get this floor up so it's easier to, to clean and easier to maintain. And then plus on a living quarter trailer, we never have to worry about uh, manure or urine or, or water or anything running underneath that dress wall into your dressing room. It's the last thing we'd want to have happen. Most manufacturers actually build the wall or they put the floor in and they set the wall right on top of the floor because it's very easy to do and it, and it costs less to do it that way. But uh, we do like to run the, your wall all the way to the chassis, which is a benefit for you. That way you have a separate floor in the horse area versus your dressing room. Okay, thanks for uh, taking your time and allowing me to share the features and some of the benefits perhaps on this uh, bumper sport trailer. You can learn more on our website at www.doubledtrailers.com. Thanks so much.